Today our project is a repainting a laminate bathroom counter. We have two of them that we're going to try. We first of all are going to clean the counter off really well and make sure that it's really nice and clean. It doesn't have any debris or oils. Then we are going to tape around the sink and around the mirror and the wall. You want to make sure that you get it right to the edge and then make sure you kind of even push it underneath and get every little bit covered. If it's a round sink, you just kind of gather the tape as you go and make sure that it's tucked in. This is going to be an epoxy paint mixture, so it is not going to come off very easy, so you want to make sure all of your surfaces that you don't want paint on are covered very well. We are going to be working on two colors of bathroom countertops. One is this blue and the other is this mauve or pink color. We do have this sink all taped off, ready to go. And we also have our lines up here against the wall taped off and the mirror. The products we are using today are called Valley Paint Manufacturing. It's a high performance coating of epoxy catalyst. You mix uh, three parts to one on this. And this is the epoxy that helps it bond to the countertops. This is also just a high gloss white tint base. We tinted it with a gray color that we like. It's called Giggs Gray and we'll let you know how that goes. We mixed it the three to one in this quart cup so you can see your portions and how much you need to mix. Here are the supplies we are going to be using, the pretty rollers paintbrush and that is pretty much all we will need. A couple of um, tips that we found. We actually switched on the second coat to these cabinet and door foam rollers. Before we were using the texture rollers but they we found that they were leaving some lint, little pieces of lint in the first go around so we sanded those down and we did the second coat with these foam rollers and it worked out much better. For cleanup, we found that you need to have some acetone in case you get any on the tile. It cleans up nicely with that. So we mixed a three to one, three parts paint to one part epoxy and then we put it inside this paint can. Now after you do your mixing, you have to let it sit for 15 minutes to make sure the chemicals bond together. So we're just letting our mixture sit in here for 15 minutes and then we'll let you know when we start painting. So we've let it sit for 15 minutes or so and now we're going to pour it in our tray. So you wanna start with your, your trim first and make sure if you spill any that you actually wipe it up because it stays, you cannot remove it. So we've started on the top uh, trim and now we're going to do the crease of the cabinet. You wanna make sure you get your corners really well and the creases really well and then you would roll it after you got the creases done. Like I said, remember to make sure you don't have any drops or spillage because you wanna to paint over that so that you don't have any clumps or residue. So a hint for your rollers is that you always want to make sure that you take a piece of tape and actually roll it on the tape and get all of your lint off. These rollers come pre-packaged and sometimes they have quite a bit of lint left on them. That will help you so you don't get lint inside your paint when you are rolling. We are now going to start rolling. We are probably most likely going to have to put two coats on this. That's what, um, we knew that going into this because this is a pretty deep color. If you have like a light gray or white, you might could get away with one coat, but this will need two coats. Now going to start rolling the main part of the countertop. Now as you're rolling you're going to see that sometimes the roller makes a little mark on the side so make sure you get your paintbrush and 
just go over that so that you don't have those marks. Remember this is epoxy, it's not regular water-based paint. So whatever you put down is going to stick and it will dry fast. So it's already turning out so great. I love the color. It's pretty slick and pretty easy to do. Anyone can do this at home. So this is the first coat. It's turned out great. So now we are going to do the blue countertop. Paint it gray as well. So you see how there are some drips here on this side. You want to make sure you get to that fairly quickly and start rolling or brush it out because you don't want drips to stay there on the side. So I don't know if you can see that very good, but we have some uh, fuzz or a paintbrush that's gotten in here. So you really just want to get it out, make sure you get it out, and then just re-roll. So in between your coats, even though if you're going to do one coat or two coats, you want to make sure that you take the tape off about 15 or 20 minutes after you're done painting because this epoxy will stick to the paint and then you'll have to ha get a razor knife and be able to take it off and it will be much harder. You see how this is just nicely coming off? You want to do it slow as to not grab any of the paint with it but it's coming off really nicely. We have a couple of places that we need to take it off of the mirror up here, but that's not going to be hard. Just make sure you get that painter's tape off about 15 or 20 minutes to a half hour after. So you wanna make sure as you're taking the tape off that you do it slow, so as not to pull up any of the paint. So we are getting ready to do our second coat. You'll notice we let this dry for a little bit and in the mauve or pinkish color countertop, some of these bubbles have popped up a little bit. So uh, that is why you wanna make sure you do a second coat. You can see some of these have popped up. Here's a couple others. So if it wasn't a dark color underneath, I think you'd be fine, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a second coat. Okay, everyone, here is the finished product of the epoxy paint that we did for these counters. If you remember, they were blue and pink. They turned out beautiful. We're really happy with the result. Again, it's epoxy paint and it hardens and turned out really nice. This is on top of a bathroom a countertop but here's the finished uh, project of our epoxy countertops. Thanks for watching Big Al Repairs and hopefully you will subscribe.